close since it already feels like winter. Might as well enjoy some music and winter treats. That would, that's what these people are doing at Chris Kindle Market. It officially opens tomorrow, but some hot spiced wine and a few potato pancakes sound pretty nice right about now, don't they, Mary? Oh my Kay? gosh, that'll warm you up, Erica, right? Because tonight we have fog, so visibility is down just a bit. 31 degrees, good coverage of clouds over the city, and winds are out of the south southwest at 14. Keeping things on the chilly side, feels like 15 in DeKalb, 18 in McHenry. We have a feels like temperature in Valparaiso of 19, 18 in Kankakee. So while the snow, the rain has ended for us for the moment, we're tracking the next system, which is pulling out of Minneapolis, headed for across. This is going to slide to the south and east, but I think most of it will stay over Wisconsin. What we expect to see through the night is a little break up in the cloud cover for a short time. Then clouds increase ahead of that next system and by three or four in the morning, McHenry County, Lake County could be clipped with a little bit of light snow, nothing of significance, and that quickly moves out. And then during the day tomorrow, we'll have a sun cloud mix, but again, temperatures will struggle. So this is the first system we're watching for tonight. And again, it's going to pass to the east of us. The second storm will pull in cold air for the weekend and give us a higher snow chance. So when we put it into motion for Friday night, if you're going out in the evening, you're OK till about midnight. Then we're going to see that system creep closer. And by Saturday morning, it's going to start as rain mixed with snow. And on the back side of it, a little plume of lake enhancement on Saturday evening. Now, since it will be mixing with some rain because of the temperature topping out in the middle 30s, we're expecting minimal amounts of snow. This is future cast through Saturday night, so less than an inch from that. But we will be on the cool side of that jet stream with that snowmaker moving through, but then dry, cold air moves in for Sunday. So instead of seeing that normal 49 daytime high, we're going to be in the mid 30s this weekend. So tomorrow's a dry day, and then Saturday we'll start with a wintry mix and clear things out on Sunday. But chilly for that Bears game with a kickoff temperature of about 28 degrees. All right. Thank you, Mary Kay.